Jesse Waters has studied this particular FEC report. He's the author of the fantastic book, How I Saved the World, and we are grateful to have him join us tonight to unravel the mystery of Eric Swalwell. Jesse Waters, thank you. Thank you, Tucker. Who is this guy? Well, he likes the finer things in life, and like most liberals, he wants someone else to pay for yeah. it. He must have developed this appetite for Far East cuisine when he was dating Fang Fang, but he loves the $90 sushi roll at Oku Sushi in Washington, D.C. Oh, come on. That comes with truffle soy, caviar, and gold flakes. Also likes to frequent, because he's a working man, the Charlie Palmer Steakhouse, where he can get a $130 steak, and that is... Not included with a side or a soup or a salad. Everything is a la carte. He knows that. And, of course, you have to stay at your wife's Ritz-Carlton in Half Moon Bay, Tucker. I mean, you can't go back to your meager house in your district. you got to wake up the next morning and get 18 holes in at the course that overlooks the Pacific. Then you can go back to have lunch that someone else, of course, is paying for. But this is why people hate politicians. It's because these narcissist finger waggers go into politics just for the comfortable lifestyle that they would never be able to achieve or afford in any other profession because they don't have the brains or the talent. So it's the Napa Valley cabs, the limousines, the international yeah. junkets. Corporate lobbyists and donors all pay for it, and we pay for the rest, the taxpayers. And he goes on TV the next day and says, we got to get big money out of politics and everything is corrupt. That's probably the biggest lie he's told, and there's been a lot of them. I got to ask, I mean, you never really get the perspective of the servants. Now, we, we have this picture on the screen there. There's <laughs> a man that Swell refers to as his native bearer, his coolie, his servant of color. And he's grinning. He's obviously under some pressure to pretend that he adores Eric Swell because Swalwell is in charge. Of course, he's the great white hunter. But why shouldn't we subpoena that man, that unheard voice, and let him tell his story? What is it like to have Eric Swalwell as your, as your chief, as your commander? As the, <laughs> well, I, as the... just, I just feel bad for the camel, because yeah. Swalwell does not have good manners, as we've seen on a few TV clips in cable. But if he is really a champion of women's rights, did he go over to Qatar and ask why it's legal to beat your wife there? As someone that says the world's going to end in 12 years, did he ask Cutter about their emissions? As the, as the pro-working Democrat that he claims to be, did he ask about how slave labor is building the soccer stadium over there? I, I have a feeling this was not a fact-finding mission, no. Tucker. And, and maybe when I say fact, probably daiquiris was the only thing he was looking for. I, and, I, you know, I was thinking tequila sunrises, but you're absolutely right. Daiquiris or frosés. And I just want to put... <laughs> A call out to our viewers, if you know his native bearer, his apparently adoring servant that we put up in that picture, if you've got his number, send it to us, because we would like to hear from him. We think that all voices should be heard, especially yours, Jesse Waters. Thank, Thank you. you so much for that insight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.